So John Madden touched a lot of people. You, of course, were cut, touched uh, uh, by uh, Chuck Knoll was his rival. Uh, uh, by the time uh, you got the last few years of Chuck Knoll, you didn't go against Madden, but he had such great influence in that rivalry, the Steelers and the Raiders. What What are your early memories of John Madden? I mean, first, he's an iconic football coach and the way he has brought that team back and how he built it, um, kind of that no man, you know, that nomad type player that he gets guys who really are not wanted anywhere else in the National Football League. And, and he gets them to play for the Raiders and they play at their best and they won multiple Super Bowls. I mean, to think about what John is, and I and I, I look at him like, okay, is he going to be remembered more as a football coach or the the man who has his name on Madden football that, you know, esports, everybody's playing nowadays and that's all they do. And, you know, for me, I was personally, if I could get on the all Madden team, you knew you were tough, physical on defense and you want to tackle somebody. That's how John, John did his defenses. So having, getting that John Madden sweater, if I can get that yearly, that was like a big, huge honor for me. And then, you know, I just remember where John Madden and Steve Mariucci used to have a bocce ball tournament. And I used to go there uh, multiple years in a row. And I got to meet John outside of football, outside of being in the booth. And he's a great human being. He owned all of Pleasanton uh, <laughs> where, you know, he lived at. I mean, that was just, he was the mayor of Pleasanton. So just to get to know him personally was a great honor. And he's going to be sorely missed in the football world. Well, as a former Steeler, um, we've talked about this. The Steelers have always been very pro player. They love their tradition. Um, I think, they should have had a succession plan three years ago for Ben. Um, you could see he was not aging quite as well. Some guys age great. Some guys don't. And Ben wasn't a guy that lived in the off season, uh, you know, at the workout room. He had a life. He wasn't, he wasn't doing, you, you know, uh, uh, avocado ice cream like Brady or Russell Wilson, literally, you know, working out in the desert all off season. That's not who Ben is. So, you know, we said, I don't think Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson, I don't think their teams will let go of them. But the Steelers, I mean, I look at Rod, they've got a defense, a Hall of Fame coach, a stable front office, excellent young rookie tight end, a power back, good receivers. What would you do at quarterback? Would you go Deshaun Watson? Would you go draft? What would you do? Oh, I, I can tell you this, Colin. They're not going to go to Sean Jackson. I mean, Sean Watson. Excuse me. Uh, I don't think that that's in the cards for the Steelers. I'm not. That's not who they are. Uh, they do need a quarterback. I mean, you, you think about everything that's been has done for the Pittsburgh Steelers over sixty three thousand passing yards. He's won two Super Bowls. The guy more than likely will be in the Hall of Fame. Their future quarterback is not in that building right now. Um, you know, I would like to see them go out and get, you know, maybe if Aaron Rodgers doesn't want to be in Green Bay, you know, after this year to, you know, give up a couple number ones and get a guy like that for a couple of years. Or do you go on a draft and say, I need to build from the draft and we need to get younger again because they are a little older um, in some of the positions. They lost a lot of the offensive linemen this past year, but they do have some key pieces. The defense is solid. T.J., Watt, I mean, one of the best players in the National Football League, consistently getting after the quarterbacks. So pieces are there, but I don't think the future quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers is in-house right now. I think they have to look out of that, and they, maybe out of the box, maybe uh, getting a free agent, uh, a trade maybe for Aaron Rodgers, somebody like that. Or going back to the draft the way they normally build their football team. I got to ask you finally about Derek Carr. Um, he's dealt with this could be a sixth coach in nine years. If if you were Derek Carr, would you go to the organization and say, "Guys, I've given you everything I have. I got one year left. I want out." What would you do if you were Derek Carr? Mm. I don't. Somebody will, somebody will take him. Oh, yeah. Um, that's for sure. I mean, he's third in passing right now in the National Football League. I mean, right now, you think about it, they're 28th in rush offense. Um, so that hampers what he can and cannot do. 
Um, I, I think Derek is one of those players. I think he's going to be very loyal to the to the Raiders. You do. Uh, he's been there the whole time. I, I do. Um, I, I think that's who he is as a human being. He's a great person. Uh, if you ever really met him and got to know him, he's a great human being. I think he's been playing lights out for the Raiders uh, this year. Um, I, I think they need him. I, I don't know if I would let him go. Yeah. If if I was Mark Davis, uh, I think he needs to be there and, until they find a quarterback. They can say, you know what, in two years or maybe a year after, you know, Derek Carr, his last year, whatever that might be, then I could see them letting them go. But next year, no way. Derek Carr, I think, needs to be the Las Vegas Raider quarterback in 2022. They got to get the running game going. That's the downside of this football team right now. The running game has been very lacking this year. And Derek has really picked up the pieces with all the stuff that's happened around him. Losing Nelson Aguilar the year before, and then what happened with Ruggs and Waller's being hurt for multiple games in a row. And he still has played really good football for him. He's been a great leader in the community, and he's been a great leader on the football field. Yeah. Rod, you look great. Great seeing you, my man. Uh, Go out and golf. Enjoy the Vegas weather. You're a lucky guy (laughs) and an all-time great. Good talking to you again. Good talking to you, Colin. Take care of yourself. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.